Hey guys and thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic sitemap for your Joomla website using the extension XMAP. Today I'll be using a Joomla 2.5 installation and the latest version of XMAP. So to get started what I'm going to do is assume that you've already installed XMAP via your extensions manager. Once you've done that, uh, this is where our tutorial will begin. Now the first thing you want to do, if you haven't done so when prompted by the installation of XMAP, is you want to go to your plugin manager and make sure you have some auxiliary plugins associated with XMAP properly enabled. Now here towards the bottom you'll notice a group of six auxiliary plugins associated with the XMAP component. And if you have are working with on your website Kunina, Sobe Pro, Mossets, or Virtumart, you want to make sure that these are enabled so that XMAP can properly generate the URLs associated with your sitemap for your site. In this case, I don't have any of those on my particular site, but at the bare minimum, you want to make sure the XMAP content plugin as well as the XMAP WebLix plugin are both properly enabled. Once you've done this, you want to go ahead and create your first sitemap using XMAP. To do this, you'll go to your uh, components extensions and go to XMAP. Once there, you create a new sitemap by clicking the new button here. In this particular case, I already have one set up. But when you click the new sitemap button, you should open up into a screen that looks exactly like this where you can specify some of the basic details such as the title, its published status, and its public status. Uh, you can play around with some of the other little settings it has but for most cases you could leave the default settings alone. First thing you want to do is go under the menu submenu and click the checkbox to tell XMAP which menus you would like to be indexed in the sitemap. In this case, it's just my main menu, and I like it to update my main menu sitemap daily since I'll be adding uh, frequent items from time to time. Uh, under options, you can play with some of these, but you can leave them the default for the time being if you like. And under new sitemap, if it's a sitemap for a blog that you're constantly updating stuff, you can actually give this uh, feed a particular title that will be associated with your sitemap. Alright, so once you fill out the basic details, just save and close. Now, how do you submit a sitemap generated by XMAP to Google? Well, here you'll notice two links. In this case, an XML sitemap link, which I'll click, and it should open the dynamic URL Google can look at to see your dynamically generated sitemap. Here, all you have to do is copy and paste this URL into Google, your Google Webmaster Tools uh, Settings and Sitemap Submission section, and Google should recognize your sitemap. Now, after doing this successfully, you may notice after plugging in your website into an analytics uh, site like Pair Analytics that it still tells you your sitemap is not found. Well, what you can do is go ahead and go to the root directory of your website and download your robots.txt file open it up in a text editor like Dreamweaver and paste the URL of your dynamic sitemap xmap generated and as you do so you want to use this syntax sitemap colon and then the complete uh, URL to that particular sitemap once you hit save upload to your server and generate the analytic uh, pair analytics again if you'd like and you'll notice that this error message should be completely gone so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions feel f please feel free to contact us through our website we'll be happy to walk you through it have a great day